Hey guys, I'm with my mate, Mr. Mark Jones. Hello. Who was actually at Bethel when James Maloney was there last in what year? Oh, it would have been 2014. So 2014, so James was in Leicester last in 2008 and he's gone through some stuff and he's not been traveling, but this is what happened at Bethel Church in 2014. So Mark, yeah. what, what happened? Um, yeah, so we was at the Open Heavens Conference uh, at Bethel and James Loney was speaking one, one evening. Um, during, while he was speaking, he, he, he you know, uh, called out a guy um, to come down for, for some, some prayer. And um, so this guy comes down to the front and he's he's quite a quite a well built guy, and I mean that in like he's obviously a guy who's like done a lot of manual labour as a builder or something like that. So James Maloney begins to minister to him, and what he does is he actually, with this, the prophetic gifting that James has got, he literally told the guy all of the physical problem issues <laughs> that he had in his body going down from uh, he had an issue in his shoulder, he had kind of like issues across his chest. Uh, the guy had a, a heart concern, um, and also he had some big, some big issues with his knees. And the fact that he'd had re major reconstructive surgery in both of the knees, he had plates in both of his knees. So James Maloney tells the guy all these things of you know what's what's wrong with him. Wow! And then the Holy St Spirit starts to minister to him, and he administers the healing uh, to um, to this guy. And this guy's just kind of, you know, hit by the power of God and he's kind of taken, taken aback a little bit by it. Um, and then he can kind of, you can see just like the relief as like God starts to move from like the top of his body. And just you could kind of see there's just the relief that's going on there. Right. Um, but then he gets down to the guy's knees and uh, James Maloney, he, kind of, he, he looks at the guy and says, uh, you can feel the plates on your knees, can't you? You can feel the plates. The plates are there in your knees. You, you've got plates in your knees. And basically the guy was just in absolute bits because he couldn't feel the plates in his knees. Wow. The crazy. plates were not there. He couldn't feel them. So, wow. um, yeah, I mean, this, this guy, the guy that's prayed for, I was I had the priv privilege of seeing him the next day, um, kind of just walking about the conference. And he was just walking with such a you know such a freedom to what he had wow, before that's so crazy. um yeah i mean the video of this is on youtube yeah, i've actually thought i've, I've put yeah. it on facebook it's on facebook it's so on facebook. yeah the video is out there so if you yeah. don't believe me go check it out and yeah I, one thing I'd, I'd just like to say as well is that you know you you may, you may be tempted to kind of say oh that happened at bethel it happened out out there but actually you know I, th I do believe that God can work anywhere in the world through anybody he wants. And I think one thing that's really key for what's coming up in this conference is our level of expectation. Indeed. And I just really believe that, um, that if we, you know, we're hosting James Loney and he, God uses him extraordinarily yeah. to, in the gifts of the Spirit. So, and I just think that if we come together, if we come expectant. Absolutely. Um, what that does that that just changes the atmosphere and it just creates a really healthy atmosphere yeah, for, for God and the Holy Spirit to move in so come expectant that, mm. that miracles are going to happen and you, you said to me that off the back on that on that night yeah how long was James ministry that night? okay yeah so that night James actually he, he preached for about two hours that night and it was just powerful all the way through for those two hours and afterwards the, he made a call for, for people to come up for prayer and he was praying for people till about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning Crikey. Um, there, there was a line of people, there was 300 people uh, lined around the outside of, you know, the outside of the <laughs> conference hall and he was there till 1, one 2, 3 o'clock in the morning every single one of them was healed um, and I believe afterwards Bill Johnson as well actually said it was one of the most significant uh, evenings of healing that they'd ever had at that, up to that point at Bethel so you know, this is no. That's a heck of a statement. That is quite a statement coming so from Bethel. So he ministered until three, nearly three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, about two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock yeah. in the morning, and everybody that he prayed for was healed. Yes. And there was around three hundred people that were praying. That's for. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? Uh, it was just uh, an, a privilege to be there to just see wow. God move like that. Wow. So it's really exciting that the video that I broadcast a few days ago 
that Mark was actually there. So I do hope that you can come and uh, come to the conference. The, the dates, the 28th of September, you can find the link on Eventbrite, James Maloney in Leicester. He's, he's then going to be at All Nations Church in the morning on the 29th, and then at Holy Trinity again in the evening at 6.30. So don't miss this.